I'm going to make some milk with uh, walnuts today. These are very high in omega-3 fatty acids. They're great for calming the nervous system. They're great for their antioxidant properties. And um, again, they're healthy fat content. And you're going to love how easy this is. One cup of nuts or seeds, whatever kind you want. Soak them overnight and then just rinse and drain them. Especially when you're making nut milks, you want to make sure everything is soaked and rinsed because you want to dissolve all that, all the enzyme inhibitors are on the outside of the nuts so that it's going to be really digestible. And then fill up the blender with water, purified water. And blend. All right, here we go. All right, now you want to blend it as you're watching in the Vitamix. You want to blend it until all the particulate is just very small and you can't see any particles floating around anymore. And then uh, you know it's done. If you don't have a Vitamix, if you just have a regular blender, you'll probably have to leave it on a lot longer, so like five or more minutes. Um, the Vitamix does it really fast. Now this is just a nut milk bag. It looks like a little pillowcase. You can buy these online, or I just made it. You get the unbleached muslin from the fabric store, and you just sew it into a little square like a pillowcase. And what that does is it's just going to filter out all the particles, all the pulp from the, from the nuts. And you can save the pulp to make cookies and granola bars and cereal and all sorts of stuff. So don't throw the pulp away. It's highly nutritious and makes yummy stuff like we make... Um, we make chocolate mint cookies out of it. And, <laughs> and when we run out of chocolate mint cookies, then we know we need to start making more nut milk so we can get more cookies. <laughs> so all you do is just turn it, and it just squeezes the milk out of there. And I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's beautiful. It's just white and creamy. And I love this stuff. Now, nut milk, you need to usually last for three or four days in the fridge. Um, you got to drink it pretty quick though, because anytime you um, chop nuts or process nuts, the oils in them are very delicate because you've got a lot of your omega-3 and your omega-6 oils in the nuts. So as soon as you process them, they're very delicate. So you got to keep it refrigerated, consume it within a few days, and, uh, and then you'll be good. If it starts to smell funky, it's probably because the oils are going a little bit rancid and oxidizing, so just throw it out. Usually nut milk doesn't last long enough in our house though <laughs> to go bad. So that's it, and then on the inside, just keep squeezing it until, until the nut pulp on the inside is completely dry. And then what I do is I just take the nut pulp and I put it in a Ziploc bag in the freezer, a double Ziploc bag. And then every time I make nut milk, I just keep adding to the bag and keep it frozen. Because if, if you don't freeze it again, it'll go bad really quickly. And then as soon as the Ziploc bag, like is the gallon Ziploc bag in the freezer is full of nut pulp, then I can make cereal or cookies or something like that out of it. And in the, in the breakfast book, the healthy breakfast book and the healthy snack books, there's there's recipes for how to use your nut pulp with, with cookies and cereal and stuff. So that's pretty easy, right? And then what we're going to do is pour it back in the blender. Now this tastes pretty good by itself, but it's just bland. And at Cafe Janae, we don't like bland. Everything has to be wild with flavor and so delicious it makes you want to dance and sing. So. Leave it like this if you like, and it's going to be perfectly fine. But if you want it to be a little, uh, a little more exciting, what we're going to do is we're going to put in some coconut oil. Now remember, coconut oil uh, is medium chain triglyceride, so your body uses it as a carbohydrate. It's great brain food. It also um, it's good for your skin. It helps you so your body doesn't need as much vitamin E. So it's a great antioxidant. So. I just put coconut oil in every raw thing I make because it's just really good for you in so many ways. Um, plus it makes it taste, uh, it adds kind of a creaminess to the milk that I think you'll really like. That was vanilla because you have to put vanilla in everything as well. This is a little bit of raw local honey. You don't have to sweeten it, but if you want to, I find that just putting a little touch of honey in there helps. 
You can also put in just a pinch of stevia or a little drop of agave nectar, or a little bit of maple syrup, whatever, whatever works for you. This is lecithin. Um, make sure it's when you get lecithin that it's organic. Um, lecithin is a soy product, and any soy product that's not organic is genetically modified. And also, um, soy lecithin, uh, what happens is when they press the oil out of the soybeans, the lecithin is what's left over. And uh, it has, if it's not organic, all the pesticide residues are in the lecithin very concentrated. So you want to make sure it's organic so that you're not getting all those uh, pesticide residues concentrated in there. Um, and what that does is it emulsifies it because we've got the oil from the nuts and we've got the coconut oil and then you've got water and it's just going to separate if you don't have an emulsifier in there to bind the fats and the waters together. So that's all it does. If you don't have lecithin, leave it out, no big deal. A little bit of salt. And that's it. Just have to blend this um, just on low just to get everything mixed up. Now it's beautiful. I used to, I'm a big cheese fan. <laughs> milk was really hard for me to stay away from. And when I started making nut milk, like I never wanted real milk again. First of all, it tastes great. Second of all, it's fabulously delicious. And when you drink it, you feel awesome. It doesn't cause all that mucus coating in your throat and it doesn't cause you just to feel kind of like gross and lethargic. It doesn't make you put on weight. So as soon as I started doing nut milk, like I never wanted to go back again. It's fantastic. I think you guys are gonna love it too. And then, of course, taste. Mm, it's yummy. You guys are going to love it. So I'm going to pass this to Brian and Raquel. They'll give you some samples, and you guys can ooh and ah and tell me how much you like it, okay? Any questions about the nut milk? Now, what, uh, something else about nut milk that I really love, you don't have to just drink it white. Um, you can also have chocolate milk. So if you're going to do a chocolate milk, all you do is put in like a couple tablespoons of raw cocoa powder and then just a little bit of extra sweetener to make up for the bitterness of the cocoa powder. Blend that up, you've got chocolate milk. If you heat it up, then you've got hot chocolate. <laughs> add a little more vanilla to it and you've got fabulous hot chocolate. If you add a little bit of fruit to it, like strawberries, you can have strawberry milk. So pretty much any of the Nestle's canned milks, you can make it with this. Strawberry milk, chocolate milk, chocolate mints, like if you make the hot cocoa and put a couple drops of mint extract in it, it's really yummy hot chocolate or, you know, chocolate mint beverage or put a couple drops of hazelnut flavoring in there, really yummy, like hazelnut. You can also put almond flavoring in there, flavor it up however you like. So there's tons of variations to that really easy nut milk and you can see it only took like, what, five minutes to make it and so, it's really simple, and that was kind of a small batch. If you have, you know, if you go through it really quickly, it's just as easy to make a bigger batch. Mm -hmm.